Hi darlings, how are you? This is going to be for my Aquarius. And this is going to be for the week of the 1st through the 7th of October. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Come on, cards. I'll be using my Angel Tarot cards. And to cl clarify, I'll be using the Classic Tarot. So let's see what messages we have for you. So Aquarius, this is for you. The Eight of Water. You have a desire to move on not too long ago, or you had a desire to move on. You were in search for something more uh, meaningful. You got the Four of Fire. You have a lot of peace in your environment. Peace and abundance and a happy home life. The Three of Air, but there's sadness around you. You need to take time to heal what happened. And you have the two earths, I guess, because of the sadness, you feel a little off balance. There's a lot going on around you. You have the two of earths. And then we have the king of pentacles here. It's a very successful time. Look at that. See how things throw you off a little bit and then things come back to normal or things right. Oh gosh, what's the word? Things get become balanced. Let's put it like that. You feel stable and you feel balanced. So you got the king of earth here. A successful time for you. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. You got the page of cups. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. So you might have psychic abilities. Heightened psychic abilities. Need to use your intuition, okay? You got the nine of water. Your wishes come true. Okay. You have a love for life and your concerns fade away. Then the balance card. There's a need for balance and moderation in your environment. Or maybe you funk balance. <clears throat> maybe you did. We'll see. We got the ten of earth here. This is about um, coming into unexpected income. This is about... Um, a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things, you know? Enjoying the little things in life. This could also mean domestic love. I thought I, had, I knew I had a card that turned around. Well, let's take out that one there. How do you need you to have that? So. That's the Four of Swords. You might even be planning not too long go for the future here. On top of the Four of Swords, you got the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Um, you got the Page of Water here as well. So you need to rest and relax right now. You've been working very hard on something. Now, this is past energy, okay? You got the Knight of Pentacles. You're hardworking. Um, you got a routine down. You're very productive. You got the Page of Pent uh, the Page of Cups here. You got a lot of creative opportunities around you, okay? You might have a little, you know, you might not be feeling content. There might be something going on, but you might need to take a rest and think about it for a while. That's the Four of Swords. That's the Knight of Pentacles. That's the Page of Cups. 
Or maybe you already did. You got the four of fire, now you feel content. And peace, you got the temperance card, you got the hangman, you got the judgment card. Okay, so you need to find balance. You got balance here too. There's a need for balance and harmony in your environment. You need to have a little bit of patience. Okay. And you got the hangman, and that could be why you're feeling stagnant, is because there's no balance there. You need to let go of things and look at things from a new perspective. This is past energy. And then the judgment card, I think you did, because you went in and you did some self-evaluations. Temperance card, the hangman, and the judgment. Now, when you do self-evaluations, you're supposed to feel rebirth. rebirth. <sighs> you just feel rejuvenated and revitalized, you know, brand new. But instead, they had some sadness. What happened? It was something from the past you had to make a decision about. You had to make a big decision. Um, you were making a lot of plans. It was a very difficult decision here, and it brought sadness. Exactly what it was, I don't know. Only you would know. It's something from the past. I have the Six of Cups, I have the Two of Swords, and I have the Two of Wands. Making decisions, leaving home maybe. Maybe that's why it's such a difficult decision. You have the Six of Cups, you got the Two of Swords, and the Two of Wands. You got choices, you got two paths you could choose, or you, or did you already choose? Let's see, the two of earth. On top of the two of earth, we got the nine of cups, we got the moon, and we have the seven of pentacles. Your wishes come true. You got the nine of water here too. Your wishes come true. You got the moon. So maybe you're not seeing things, you know, cloudy anymore. Maybe you're actually seeing things with clarity. And you have the seven of, seven of um, pentacles here. You can start making plans for the long term. But just be diligent, okay? You're going to start seeing some money pretty soon. You got the nine of cups, the moon, and the seven of pentacles. So on top of the king of earth, you got the seven of wands, you got the world, and you have the four of pentacles. You're above your challenges, okay? And you're maintaining control. You're holding your own and standing up for yourself. You successfully accomplished something. I mean, this is above the king of um, earth. So something came to completion for you. And maybe now you're saving money. Maybe things are no longer tight for you. Well, security. Now, another meaning of this card is holding on too tight can keep you right where you are and stop you from moving forward. You could be holding on to something that's not healthy for you. You know, holding on to it very tightly. But only you know the situation. You got the Seven of Wands, you got the World card, and you got the Four of Pentacles. And you got the Page of Water. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase if you are in a relationship. Or you might just be like really tapped into your psychic abilities and your intuition is growing. Or darlings, maybe you just need to start listening to yourself. You got the King of Swords, which will be you, Aquarius. You got the Five of Cups and you got the Wheel of Fortune. You're very disciplined, but you got to get out of your head and get in your heart a little bit. You've accepted something. Maybe there was some kind of loss in the past and you've accepted it. I don't know if it had something to do with the decision. But right now, you got the Wheel of Fortune on your side. You got good fortune. You got the King of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. 
And we have the nine of water. Your wishes come true. On top of your nine of water, you got the sun, which is happiness. You got the five of oh yeah. the five of wands, which is about conflict, but then you got the nine of um the nine of pentacles. So there's a lot of positivity in your environment. It might cause some internal conflict here, or maybe some external conflict. Okay, you're gonna start seeing some money, and I got goosebumps again. And this time the goosebumps started on my on my left leg, and it's coming up my left leg. It started to stop right here and it transferred slightly here. That was odd. So and then we got the nine of pentacles, and you're gonna start seeing your rewards now. <clears throat> Your wishes are gonna come true. These are this is these are good things, okay. But there's gonna be some conflict. Now I don't know if the conflict is internal or external. It's gonna be totally up to you. You know to know that part. So you have the sun, the five of pent the five of wands, and the nine of pentacles. That's the fruits of your labor. You're starting to see. That's what you planted a while back. And this is balance. It's about patience and compromise. Well, yeah. Finding balance. You have, you have the judgment card up there. This is the temperance card, the equivalent to temperance. So balance, moderation, patience. Um, you got the page of pentacles. And you got the five of pentacles and you got the ten of pentacles. It's like every other thought is a positive, negative, positive, negative. What's going on? Why are you up and down like that? I mean, positive, negative, positive. Negative, positive, negative. What's going on? You got the sun, you got conflict, you got the nine of um, pentacles. Who are you fighting with? So, the Page of Pentacles is about manifesting and reflecting on your financial um, opportunities. It could be also skill development and maybe you may, um, well, manifesting, I said that. Um, financial loss, the Five of Pentacles. Excuse me. You might be feeling mindset a lack, okay, like you don't have. Stop feeling like you don't have. Stop worrying about money. Everything is going to work out. You will come into some money. I got the Ten of Pentacles here. This mindset is temporary, okay? The more you worry about money, is the more you chase it from you. Yes, things might be tight right now. But there is a way. There is always a way. So you have the page of pentacles, you got the five of pentacles, and you got the ten of pentacles. And then you got the ten of earth here. I say you're definitely coming into some money. And this is about a ha happy family. I got the devil, the three of swords, and the chariot. I don't know what's going on in your environment, all right? Oh, now I only got goosebumps on my legs. The devil card says you are only limited by what you believe is possible, all right? Things might be a little tight right now. Things might be moving in a way that you don't expect it to move. The 
this devil here that I'm thinking, this is your, your mindset. You're thinking, your thoughts. You have a lot of negative thoughts going on around you. You might be feeling a whole heap of sadness. But there's something that's coming. Why would you feel sadness? Is it that you didn't get the money that you were expecting but not expecting, you know, that way? And you don't know what you're going to do? You got the devil, you got the three of swords, and you got the chariot. This is on the ten of earth. This is something negative about money. Well, I'm going to leave this card the way it came because it's the ten of swords and it came in reverse. It can't get worse. Only upward from here, okay? Recovery. Regeneration. Healing. Resisting. An inevitable end. But you're learning what you need to learn from the situation. But what I feel with this Ten of Swords, because I always feel the Ten of Swords is, is about endings, you know, like ruin, disaster, hurt, pain. Like it couldn't get no worse than this. So, with it being upside down, in reverse, I'm leaving it that way. Because things can't get any worse, all right? It's only going to get better for you. You're going to be a little tied up in your head. I got the Eight of Swords. But then I got the nine, Knight of Wands. And it says, whatever you want to do, you need to do it now. You might be feeling some fear and anxiety. You might be feeling a lot of fear and anxiety. You need to get up and you need to push yourself through that fear and anxiety. Do you know how many days? And I've been doing this for a little while now, but I always have a little anxiety in me. Now, it's not as bad as it used to be. You know, every time I think of coming to make a video or, or, or speaking, because it's so many people going to hear me. And I get this anxiety and this little fear, you know, because I'm questioning myself. No, we got to stop doing that. We got to still push through it. Now, I know this is, that's a simple, that's a little excuse, a little example of probably what you're going through. But regardless, you know, it's still, a, still the same feeling. Fear, fear is fear. And yet anxiety is anxiety. Push, push yourself through it. And you're going to be able to. I got the Knight of Wands here. Now this is about some energy that's passionate. And it's going to inspire some action. Okay. And you got the three of. You got the three of cups after that. And I would say there, there's going to be celebration. Okay. And when celebration. I don't mean party or anything. You might just feel a sense of relief. You know things like that. Things will get better. So you have the nine of um, swords in reverse, the eight of swords, the knight of pen of knight of wands as well, and then you have the three of cups. So this tells me that whatever is gonna take place is gonna yes, it's gonna be you're gonna be scared. There might be some anger, tears. You are the magic. Believe in yourself. I love you. You take care of yourselves. Now, a lot of times, too, this could be negative thoughts that you're pushing out. So much negativity that that's all that's coming back is negativity. So try to change those thoughts around. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and we'll chat soon. Bye.